Hey, hey, everybody, this is me going over Q2 of the weekly contest 221, uh, maximum number of yi in apples. So this one I had a lot of struggle with during the contest. Um, if you skip, I actually just kind of, I tried like three or four different things uh, and they were just wrong. Um, I mean, I had the right idea, but uh, I want to go over a couple of things. The first thing that I want to go over is that I, I was just really bad at gauging the max size. Um, for some reason, I couldn't get it in out of my head that I thought it would be um, 2 times 10 to the 4th square is the number of maximum mapo. But if you think about it correctly, which took me a long time, is that you could think about these as the line segments, right? And the length of the line segment can only be 2 times 10 to the 4th. So then the longest... Um, the last element is, or the last days is only going to be, um, you know, the last element plus two times ten to the fourth, meaning that the worst case is going to be about four times ten to the fourth. I actually, I don't know why, but it took me um, way too long during the contest to really realize this, and this is why the video is so long. Um, and uh, and yeah, and then the other thing was that I just had an off by. I think I was being a little uh, incorrect. I may upsolve it later using the same strategy, but um, but I was trying to do some clever things with um, with uh, fast forwarding. But in this case, you actually don't need to because four, with four times ten to the fourth, if you do log n things, uh, that's still going to be fast enough. Um, but as as I said, so I had a lot of issues there. Um, yeah, and that this was the most troublesome uh, because. I think I knew what to do, but I just, for some reason, I um, I couldn't get it. And also during the contest, there was a hidden test case, which I was just wrong about. Um, so like I couldn't figure it out. So I just keep on submitting and it was keep on being wrong. But this is basically my code. Um, and the way that I think about it is actually is a, or at least this code is um, a sort of hybrid. And what I mean by that is that uh, I'm not, it takes advantage of the fact that um, when we go by from the starting points are only one offset each. So then we can do a, essentially a scan line algorithm uh, with a scan line algorithm with a heap uh, on top, right? Where, where as you kind of move from day to day, you want know, to eat one apple at a time every day. And for each, that, each apple, um, you literally just implement, okay, you know, today is day five. These are the number of apples that are available to me. Let's greedily take an apple from the tree that watts the closest to you, right? Um, I think that makes sense in an intuitive sense because, you know, you if you swap the order where you take um, an, an, an apple that can last longer, well, it can only give you a worse solution because um, later on, uh, the apple that you haven't eaten yet could expire earlier, right? So that's basically the greedy solution um, and eating it day by day. And and yeah, um, so basically, uh, yeah, so we put things in a heap only if there are apples. And then here, the index is actually the day number. Um, we We get rid of the apples that are expired and then if we have any apples left then we look at the expiry we get the count uh, we pop it we eat one apple and if we still have any apples left we put it back into the heap to be you know keeping track and then once all this is done because we still have extra days um, we we do basically a copy and paste to be honest which is we do the same thing except that we just keep on going while there's still uh, apples in the tree and that they're not expired. So this is, that's basically it. Um, I think I just have one of those mind fart moments where I just couldn't solve it during the contest because I had something way close to the working solution, but I had just a lot of off by once in a couple of places uh, and I couldn't, just one of those days. So, uh, you know, uh, I would also say that earlier today, I finished first in the contest. So, um, and this is not meant to be a brag because it's kind of embarrassing when you know, you can finish a Q2 afterwards. But I, what I want to say is that, you know, you'll have good times, you'll have tough times. Um, just, you know, always try your best, always grind it out. And if you watch me during the video, I worked the entire, the entire contest trying to solve this, even though I didn't get it. And the video actually even goes 
uh, and you should fast forward for it, but you could just see that um, um, I worked even past the contest time that to get it right before, um, you know, before I stopped working on it. So definitely, hopefully that's a lesson there. Um, and there's some debugging tips and print out, but I was just really bad on this one because I just had off by ones. And um, I think the key thing that I wasn't taking advantage of was that um, the, for, for here, um, the days and the events line up. And I think I just didn't, I think if I able to visualize it correctly the first time, um, I w should be able to solve this. But because I didn't, visualize this correctly the first time uh, I had some lingering visualization that was just wrong um, and then I was trying to modify my my solution or my visualization to fit like off by want and stuff like that um, which is always a disaster sometimes uh, and for me I needed to reset and restart it over for this problem but I just couldn't let go because it was only a Q, only a Q2 right so I was just like oh this should be easy but um, but yeah so that's basically my lessons there. Um, yeah. Uh, let me know what you think. You can watch me solve it live during the contest. But again, like I said, this portion is very long. So hope you enjoy it. Uh, like I said, it's a, you know, I consider myself good at this. Cause I, I literally won a contest earlier today and you, I still struggle from time to time. So, you know, uh, so if you find yourself struggling, it's okay. Just keep working hard, keep grinding, and I will see you next problem but also the live portion is now i guess <laughs> uh, okay well here we go get that out of the way get the silly mistake out of the way
That's not right. Hmm, well. Is that right? So one, two, three, three, this. Three of these. And now it's four. Man, why am I so bad right now? Only three people got it, so I don't think this is just me, but I wish I didn't make a silly mistake on part one. <clears throat> this is just prefix some, I think. It's something like this, but I don't know. Prefix sum, this is too big.
So, wow, this is hard. So, how many apples can you eat? Right. I don't know how to do this one. Maybe I'm a little bit stuck. I'm only 46 people gotten it in 15 minutes, which is really long. Let's look on this. Okay, so same code, but different language and it worked, right? So that's a little bit sad. Uh, okay, thousand people solved this. Let's think about it again. Um, hopefully now I have a fresher mind. Uh, okay. Hmm. What is N? Oh, did I miss an N? No, that's okay. Okay, no, because it still can have. <sighs> it can still have four to times ten to the eighth number of apples. I'm still weird. But how do you do this? Hmm. I mean, this seems like I'm just having a um. Uh, a blank. So now, poor day keeps the doctor away, but it's been, this problem has been keeping me away. I like the heap one; it looks more promising. Did I have my heap solution? Mm, I thought I saved it somewhere, but I guess not. So then, so just uh, t minus last, right? Is this it? Or was I just being dumb? No, I mean, could be both, but. And now I have to keep track of the, the ones that would have wadded. Yeah, I mean, it's just very wrong, right? 
I'm just blanking out on this. This is tragic. Oh, I'm just being dumb. Whatever apples have left over, so I can't do prefix sum. I am dumb. I am dumb. I am dumb. Because it's not multiple. Oh man, why? Oh, okay. So. Yes, why did I multiply them? I, I got confused about the thing. Okay. Uh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, my analysis was wrong, that's why I got so confused. Okay. And then. So then now why is that only six? Then I have to have an off by one. So this is Oh, just having that kind of day. Where, uh, well, evening, I guess. Expected one. So one, oh, that is actually a good um, thing. But, Oh no, that's the, actually no, is that right? Wow, I just have no idea how to do this one. Maybe.
really have no idea how well i mean a thousand people got it so maybe it's something simpler but i just okay i have 20 minutes that should be fast enough but I thought I saw a pattern, but that was wrong, actually. So once we eat it... No, that's not fine. Oh, well, now the heap solution makes sense. I am just being dumb again. Uh, okay. Do I have it written somewhere? No? Mm, okay, fine. Because now, because the reason why I didn't think it makes sense is because it took too long. Okay, F poop. Um, okay, let's do it again. Uh, Let me just do a sorted list. No, let's just do it. So start and X. Just do that. Time is on that phone.
this may be too slow actually to be honest but That's not even right. At least this one's right. But Why? Why is this farm so dumb? For me, I mean, <laughs> I just don't get it. How am I doing so well? Okay, so this is done. This is also done. Of day. Yeah. Why is this? Did we not find one somewhere? I'm gonna explain this one though. Oh. Oh, I think I I made this. I will be four. Oh, the first time I did this and I ma made it again. Okay, so this one's better, but we're still having this issue Oh, because this is uh, Off by one so this should be this minus one uh, Okay Wish me good luck. I might just, I don't know. Oh, what? That's sad. I need to start. Maybe I don't need to start. Oh yeah, you don't need to start because... Yeah. Because they're all consecutive. Another thing to have to try to do.
maybe this hmm. expect is one or two. Just off by one doesn't really matter as long as we're consistent, which we might not be. The T thing doesn't even make sense anymore, actually. Does it? No. Okay, what am I doing here? Maybe I do need to start. Well, this was a disaster. And a lot of people got in this, so I don't... I mean, I'm just curious how they got it. Or like, what, what's the solution, rather? Um, Okay, maybe I sort it a different way. Well, that is just really well, so maybe not that. But I'm getting it wrong on a hand case. Nope, still nope. I forgot which one I submit, that's why. I was hoping that the Yiko sign is the thing, but... Six minutes. Ah, uh, I don't. I don't know. Just one of those days, I guess. I mean, I feel like this is right, but like mostly, could and I don't have any overflows or anything like that. Still on day one, does that make it better? No, I don't think so. <clears throat> yeah, I'm out of ideas to be honest. I think this is the right idea, but I'm implementing it weird for sure. Uh, 
I think this route is a bit. I'm gonna try anyway. Yep. I mean, I wish they just give me the case because then, um, then it's not like I'm cheating. It's just that I don't. No idea. Though maybe it's just a weird case. I don't know why they made Q2 so, um, like, I feel like they should only have hidden cases for only, um, only time limited situations because no one is hard coding this, right? It's just that you know we're trying to learn and grow. Um, don't, like that's one of the things I liked about lead code, right? So, hmm. uh. see if people, how long people got in it. I mean, this is a disaster. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Even late Chris, well, he just did it last, maybe. Um, and I did Q4 pretty quickly, but I spent half an hour on it because I have to, or I, cause I have to rewrite it to C sharp, um, which is kind of silly. How do you do this? Four minutes should be enough if I have an idea. I mean, yeah, I didn't think that would change because that's sh shipping invariant. So I really don't know. <sighs> I don't know why they hide it. Um, a little bit sad about that. Like, I feel like if I had just one test case, I could solve this problem, but. That shouldn't matter really, to be honest. Don't get it. What what are you doing wrong, Larry? I just don't get it. Please. Uh, I don't get it. Uh, I mean, this is literally me the entire contest. I don't know why I'm having so much struggle with this. Um, I am going to go over the time to, to kind of review, um, do some code reviews about this uh, because I just don't know. What, I mean, it's probably something obvious that I'm missing, some invariant that I'm really missing. 
Uh, so it's kind of sad that this is like a best and worst day of like 370. Like, eh. right? Yeah, but now it's done. So let's kind of go over it a little bit and then see. Uh, what did you, I mean, it's probably like two. Wow, well, this is not two lines of code. But so I was like, I was hoping that it, like there's a simple one that I missed, but um, I was kind of doing it. Well, okay. I I don't know how. how I mean, maybe I can understand that one, but let's see again. I mean, I kind of this is basically what I do, but. I mean, maybe I was trying to be too clever with. To I mean, he's doing it basically, uh, one at a t um as you go from left to right as well. So maybe that makes sense. I don't know. Um. Hmm. Okay, so kind of a sliding window thing, but I I, I see what is going on. I think I'm just having issues with kind of an off by one somewhere. Um, mm, let's see if I can take a look at my submissions real quick. And I might just live. Uh, I mean, this was painful. Um, does it tell me my wrong answer? Hmm. I mean, this is way off. So actually, I don't know. Oh, wait. Hmm. I mean, I don't know why they didn't. Maybe this is a big case, and it's just that my comp my fingers swollen, because I, I was saying that uh, they should only do that for TLE cases. Which maybe this is a TLE case, but uh, just that I'm wrong on it. But I'm actually, not sure why though that I'm. So two is what two apples from here to um ten thousand. Why am I so weird on this case? Uh, I mean, I, I've now that I looked at other solutions, uh, I think I know how to do it. It's just that I don't know why my code is doing like conceptually. I'm doing the same thing, um, but I mean, definitely taking um, a advantage. What what people do is that they take advantage of this. But uh, yeah, like I have this code pretty much. Hmm. Uh, maybe not that one. Let's see. I'm going to try this out. Okay, maybe just look straight for it. Okay. Hmm, this is actually uh, smarter bookkeeping, maybe. But. Man, this was a disaster. I'm trying to still find one that I can kind of really. Um, And again, of course, I'm just sad because it. I had to self queue for twice, so. Hmm. <sighs> what is oh? Oh, that was just a heap. Yeah, I, I guess if you do it, um, I I don't know. I I guess I don't really understand why this my code is so bad. Um, right, let's just print it out real quick, though so this may time out a little bit. Um, I don't think we need all of this. Um. Mm -hmm. 
I think this is this should be the same answer or same wrong answer maybe. Uh, Oops, I missed one. Oh, I just had another two. Because for me, I'm just trying to understand. And yeah, so clearly my answer is wrong, which is fine, which is what I expected, to be honest. Uh, or with, obviously, I didn't expect it during the contest, because if I did, then I wouldn't have done it. But now I'm trying to figure out what 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 is going on with the state. Um, so hopefully this debugging helps. And maybe I should have just you know end the year strong and not have done today's farm <laughs> after finishing first. But uh, okay, do I not print a heap? Okay, so first we I mean this is not in sorted order, so okay, so start we put this in. Oh I see kind of which is that um I let the the um I let the later expiration stuff uh, time out when I should. I mean, that's kind of what I was thinking, but I didn't. I couldn't find an uh, an examples. But I also wasn't able to think about the cleaner way to implement it, which is to scan the index from left to right. Because um, if I did, then this would have been naturally taken care of, which is how some people did it as well. Um, hmm. Because, okay, so this goes from zero to nine inclusive. So this will always have the priority, but what you want is actually eat the later ones as they become available, something like that. Um, because I got two, or maybe at four, yeah, at four, at timestamp four, well, actually, even at timestamp three, we should definitely eat these two, but then otherwise it gets expired, um, which is why we don't eat enough apples. Wow, that's a very subtle invariant that I feel like I... I mean, I did try to sort it by the end um, endpoints, but I think I didn't. What I didn't do is um, what I didn't do was kind of doing it together, right? Um, where like, okay, so kind of like a sliding window heap type thing, where um, it's not a sliding window, but it's like a sweep line, which is actually another thing that I tried during the contest. Um, but I just didn't put them. You need to do both, which is really tricky for Q two. Um, but yeah, so basically the idea here would be then, let's see. Um, hmm. Okay, so basically what I want to do is, okay, this is great. Uh, this is equal to zero, let's just continue. Um, no, wait, that's not true because we might eat from an apple. Okay, eat an apple. Okay, so first of all, in the beginning, we want to, we want to push to the heap uh, the expiry time and and we want the earliest expiry and then X oops so that's the invariant and then now if the length of heap is greater than zero um, we want to eat one apple from the top uh, and Uh, well, let, let, we have to clean out the top from expiry first. So if uh, this is greater than 
index. I just thinking about off by ones. Uh, heap q dot hip pop heap, and then otherwise, that's you to the top one if length of heap is greater than zero. Oh yeah, and we also push to the heap. Let's let's only push this if x is greater than zero. Obviously, maybe it's obvious. Uh, then otherwise, um, if there are more than zero elements, then uh, then we eat the top of the apple. So okay, x three count is equal to heap sub zero. Um, Q dot hip pop. But I guess it always gonna be yeah. Do we hip pop and then push again? No, I don't think we need to. I think we just go straight. Um, no, that maybe that mess messing things up actually. So okay, let's do that. Uh, pop heap. And then we eat an apple, um, and then we push it back. Okay. And then now, while length of heap is greater than zero, um, I guess we just keep on going with the index. Um, Index plus one at the way in. And then we do, do basically this thing again, actually. And then we turn total. Something like that. Oof. Well, that's not right at all. If heaps up so oh no whoops if this is the other way around meaning that the current time is after the expiry maybe maybe an off by one huh okay nope at least not that uh let's print total in the middle man I'm really struggling with this problem today but uh, okay, so five is in the middle. That means that this is not done. So um, also we have to kind of count is greater than. So I think that's probably why because we don't get rid of stuff. So it was probably just doing. I would imagine it to be more. But okay, let's just run it real quick. Ugh. So. Let's put heap in here so we can take a look if the heap is still empty. Uh, so heap is not empty, so that means this part of the code is wrong. So while leap is greater than zero, da, da, da. oh, that's because this part is this. Um, okay, and then now let's give it a good luck submit. Ooh, wrong answer again. I didn't want the test cases, did I? That's a little, that is literally the test case, so I'm a little bit sad. Um, I'm having an off by one apparently. Uh, why is that? Hmm. So we ate four apples at the end, and then we have these left. Eight one. And this is so hard to to visualize. I think that's one of my problems. But okay, so I have three apples. Oh, zero, 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 zero. Uh, I think I just have an off by one somewhere, possibly. Mm, well, possibly again. So index should be n at the end. Uh, hmm. This is right, but this is wrong. Up on a third day, four day, five days. So after five days, we ate five of them. Is that right? I guess so. And we have these left. 
on the expiry. So this is six, seven. So index is equal to five. We ate this. Uh, index is equal to six. We ate this. And that should be it, right? Mm, that's one of my environments. Well, I just have an off by one on this. Uh, okay, so this is four. Four, and then on the fifth day. What did I change? Is this wrong? No, this is yeah you know, on the fifth zero one two three four five. Man, I'm really struggling. Not gonna lie. I'm also trying to wash it a little bit, but still, this is just sad. <laughs> I'm a little bit sad. Um. Okay. So I ate five apples before, which is true. But then four. So yeah, so this expires at the fifth. So you ate eat that one. Here we it expires on the sixth, right? So mm -mm. maybe it should be this, but I don't no, that makes sense. I feel like I'm missing uh, something clearly. So this should be inclusive, right? So I don't know. Let's make it exclusive. So then here, then we get rid of it. But then that we have to eat five issue. Why? Tell me why. I just really don't even know anything anymore. Is this state right? I feel like that's right. After five days, do I really have to draw it out? Uh, I mean, I, I know the answer, and I still cannot finish this in 20 minutes, so this has uh, been a very hard one for me. Um, first day, second day. Day, yeah, two days. So we eat two apples in two days. That's fine. Day three. Okay. Yeah. Four, five, six, seven, right? So why is that wrong? We ate five apples and then day six, day seven. Oh, this is four when it should be oh huh oh this i'm just being dumb because because uh, for some reason i thought this was in for range and in in other languages the for loop would have to last value but in python it might not okay i'm, uh, I'm a little bit la lazy so that's why oh my gosh okay uh hey yeah thanks for watching the video uh let me know what you think hit the like button hit the subscribe button have a happy new year and i will see you next time bye bye